Hello world, this is Chris with Elevations, doing an unboxing today of an 8 port switch. So this is a generation 1 Ubiquiti or Unify switch, 8 port switch, 150 watts, so these all 8 ports are either 24 volt passive or PoE plus, and we also have dual SFPs here on the side. These are actually one of my favorite switches uh, that the Ubiquiti line makes, unfortunately they are a little hard to get a hold of right now. On the positive side is this is actually a warranty replacement. A switch for a client went bad, so they actually replaced it, and somehow they found one and sent it to me. So I seem to believe that their stock accuracy might not be entirely correct, but it does make sense if they hold a handful of back for the sake of fulfilling warranty returns. So again, this is the Unify 8-port switch. Uh, you can see all of the information that they put on the back. This is the Generation 1 switch. You can kind of see some of the interface stuff is a little bit older. Um, these are great switches, like I said. You have the capability of doing the dual SFPs for either uplink or pass-through. It's something that's certainly beneficial. All right, without further ado, I'll go ahead and start unboxing this switch. We just take that little sleeve off that you just saw right there. That's a easy thing that they do for their marketing and advertising on the outside. And then we simply have this little section that unfolds and there we have our brand new switch i'm hoping it's brand new i have seen them simply replace warranty switches with used or refurb switches you do have the rack ears here and this switch does not fit on a standard 19 inch rack mount but those rack ears do give you some flexibility as far as the mounting goes simple documentation power line very basic everything here. Now they do come with some hardware mounting material. So then you have the plastic inserts to be able to put that into drywall. Uh, you also have wood screws so you can attach that directly to a backing board. And then you have the small machine screws that go into the side of the switch itself for the sake of mounting those ears on so this is the front of the switch as you can see here you've got the regular ubiquity symbol right here with the generation one this is solid when you first boot this up this will be white and then we go to the configuration add it to a ubiquity server uh, so it's in the managed side of things this will turn blue once everything is configured and ready to go again all eight ports and the two sfps here and then it does come with these guards in it keeps those SFP sockets clean. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this box. So here is our switch itself. And that is pretty much everything that it is. Now again, like I said, I do really like this switch. The one downfall is that there is no active cooling, so there is no fan here. This unit does get a little bit on the warmer side in standard operations. Um, as you can see here, it's got the rubberized feet. So if you do mount it against something, it does have a little bit of a cooling right there. You have the mounting on the side here for those ears. So you can see right there, these will uh, attach. You have a couple different orientation options. You can attach it in this fashion. So you can attach to something in the front. Or if you do this, then you can actually then attach it to a board on the bottom. So it's a pretty basic setup for those rack ears. And again, there is no wall warts or anything. You have that standard power plug input right there in the rear. And that is everything that goes into this switch. So again, this is the Generation 1 switch. However, I do tend to like the Generation 1 switches a little bit more. They are quite reliable. They do have the capability of doing that 24 volt passive as well as the poe standard poe plus so you have the capability of working with some of the different ubiquity line that uses that 24 volt as well as the sfps for gigabit fiber uplink so again my name is chris with elevations i hope you learned something today please like and subscribe below thank you for watching